Now, I, I know there is a whole thing going with the augmented reality and a lot of people are trying some new stuff. Uh, what is augmented reality and how? what are the practical applications for that that you... So augmented reality is uh, something that people are doing on phones and that it's a type of application mm -hmm. um, that allows you to loop in the GPS in your phone and the video camera that's in your phone or the, the camera feature in your phone. Mm -hmm. And you can um, attach information to specific geolocations mm -hmm. And then when you hold your phone up, it knows what you're looking at, and it'll put metadata or information or anything on specific objects that you can see. So when you're over here, you see some stuff, and when you're over here, you see some stuff, and you can click on it mm -hmm. and get more information. So the best example is WikiTude. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one where you can hold up your phone and um, pan around and see anything that has a Wikipedia entry on it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you see something that you're interested in, you can click on it to get that Wikipedia entry. Very mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. um, well, simple in concept. Yeah. A bit difficult in execution unless you're really good at augmented reality yeah, development. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's, it's really cool, especially for um, things that, that are a type of search. Yeah. Um, because it's, it's usually metadata and it's, it's very location specific. Right? Right, right. So local businesses, local points of interest, mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, one of the things that's really, you know, getting a lot of attention is location services. Yeah. Right. Um, have you seen any trends or any any companies that you like who are do really doing the location service as well? Like, you know, you got Foursquare and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, well, the the important news here <coughs> is that. We've, we've seen an upsurge or a rise in use of things like Gowalla and Foursquare yeah. and this behavior where people would check in. Mm -hmm. um, and Foursquare actually has a lot of information that they capture on the back end, so it can be really useful for finding out more about your customers mm -hmm. when they're in your stores and, and stuff like that, and who they are and where they go next and where else they go yeah. and stuff like that. But um, in comparison to other social networks, Foursquare and Gual are not very big, but Facebook is about to launch a check-in feature. Hmm. So that's going to be very important, and they're supposedly going to have an API that other companies are going to be able to loop into mm -hmm. so that from your website they can check in via Facebook. The same way they did the Facebook Connect kind yes. of same model. Mm -hmm. for, oh, mm -hmm. That might be the... So that is going to... Uh, be huge because everyone's on Facebook now. Yeah, 500 million, whatever, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah.